goal tonight is just to get your heart rate up. We're gonna go full body, no equipment necessary. We are all stuck um, in an unfortunate situation. So my goal tonight is just to get those endorphins going, get your heart rate up, get you sweating and have some fun. So everything can be modified. Nothing is set in stone. I'm gonna give you guys the framework tonight. You guys make the most of it. I'm gonna give everyone just one or two more minutes to come in. Looks like we got some people still trickling in. If you guys can't hear me for any reason, please let me know. Yes, Joey, a lot of pressure on Todd. Don't worry, we, we practiced a little bit before. So he has been prepped on the moves. We will make sure everyone is good. Just so you guys know, there are gonna be four rounds tonight. Everything is going to be hit style. So we'll have short bursts of um, high intensity movements and then you'll have a little recovery. Ryan says, good luck, Todd. <laughs> it's live guys, this is real. There's no hiding. All right, guys, once you come in, I think everyone's mic is off. Make sure you have my video pinned so that I stay up um, on your screen the entire time. Again, make sure you're on mute. And if you aren't already, make sure you go to that Spotify playlist that's in the chat. Again, if any of you guys have any questions at any time, feel free to send them in the chat. We're gonna get started in just about one minute. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your recommendations. I hope you see some of your songs in there. All right, guys, we have 47, that's awesome. If people start to trickle in, that will be great. Otherwise, let's get this started. We have 45 minutes full body hit. We're gonna start with a little warm up tonight. Get yourselves moving. And then we, Mayor, I'm so glad you guys, I'm on the big screen. This is, I'm hitting big time tonight. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Let's get started. I'm gonna take it to the back of my mat. Make sure you start that playlist. We're gonna start with a little warm up to get yourself going. And then we will take it in to the workout. All right, guys, here we go. Thursday night, let's do this. Let's start by jogging it out here. Just getting that heart rate going, get loosened up, maybe roll those shoulders back a couple times as you start to jog it out here. And then we're gonna move into some jumping jacks. Reaching those arms out. If you're with your roommate, make sure you guys have enough room for both of you. Again, Todd's gonna be showing some of the modifications tonight. So look at him if you need those. Let's go move into some high knees, driving those knees up, getting those arms moving. Good, and some butt kickers. Driving those knees back, heels going towards your glutes. And we'll take it back to the top, jog it out. Good, taking it into some jumping jacks here. Jack it out. And then let's drive those knees up, high knees right here. And we're gonna take it into some butt kicks before we slow this down. Good, everyone take a big inhale through your nose. Reach both arms up, exhale, you're gonna inchworm it out to the top of your mat. Hold that high plank for a second. Lift those hips up into a down dog and then walk those hands back in. Big inhale up. Exhale, walk those hands out to the top of your mat. Hold, make sure you've got a nice strong plank there. Lift those hips up towards the ceiling and walk it back in. One more round just like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, walk it out. Hold this high plank here for a second. I wanna make sure your shoulders directly over your wrists. Belly button pulls into your spine. Glutes and quads are nice and tight. We're gonna be in this high plank position a lot tonight. I want you to focus on your form. Take those hips up towards the ceiling now into that down dog and then walk your hands back up. Good, and then stand all the way up. Feet just about shoulder width apart. 
a slight rotation in those toes. Give me 10 body weight squats. Warming up those legs here. I'm just gonna check this chat, make sure everyone is good. Perfect. This request came from Haley. All right, guys, three more squats for three, two, one. Hold this down. Start to build some heat into those thighs. Good, for four, three, in two, you're gonna drop your hands to the ground, hips come up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna bend and straighten your knees. Open up the back sides of those legs into those hamstrings. If you want a little bit more, take those hands under your feet, drop all the way down into your squat, lift those hips all the way up towards the ceiling. So if you're a little bit more flexible, you can take this route. Otherwise, just bend in your, straighten your knees like Todd. Good, for three, two, and one, roll it up for four, three, two, one. Everyone, big inhale through your nose, reach up. Exhale, let it out. Make sure you breathe through today's workout. All right, guys, we have four different sets tonight. Your first set is gonna be four exercises, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest. We will go through this round three times and then we'll have a little break. So if you need to grab some water now, because it's about to be an intense couple minutes. <clears throat> All right, guys, exercise number one is gonna look like this. You're gonna squat down, kick out in front of you. Squat to kick. If you don't have a ton of hamstring mobility, squat, you're just gonna kick a little bit lower, kick a little bit lower. Your second exercise is gonna be a bear crawl. Hands and knees, knees are hovering over your mat. You're gonna take it back and then take it forward, staying nice and low. Your third exercise is gonna be frogger jumps. Feet a little bit wider than your normal squat. You're gonna tap down to the ground, jump up and down, up and down. If that's too much, you tap the ground, you reach up, nice wide squat here. Your fourth exercise and final is going to be four shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, four plank jacks, okay? If the plank jacks bother you, stick with your plank taps. Otherwise, just hold that high plank. I'll make sure you guys know exactly what you're doing. So don't worry if you didn't catch all that. Guys, find some space on your mat. We are gonna get started with that squat to kick. Again, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest. We're gonna get started here in five seconds. Here we go, guys, in three, two, one, you're gonna squat and kick. So using those obliques to control that leg as you lift up, dropping those hips low in that squat. Here we go. Nice work, guys. Again, option to just take that kick a little bit lower. You don't have a ton of length in those hamstrings. Last 10 seconds. Good, keep moving. Here we go for three, two, and one. Taking it down into that bear crawl. From the side, hands are right underneath shoulders. Knees are hovering over the ground. You've got five seconds to breathe. In three, two, one, here we go. You're staying nice and low. I could balance a glass of wine on your back as you move through this bear crawl forward and back. If that's a little too much, just hold that bear call position and just stabilize. You're still gonna get a lot of good core activation there. Nice work, guys. Using this first round to really get comfortable with the movements, and then you can pick up your pace the next round. Rest, stand it up, guys. Frogger jumps are coming up next. Again, wider stance than your normal squat. You're gonna tap the ground and jump up. It's almost like you're shooting a basketball. Here we go, in three, two, one. Drop it down, jump it up. Drop and jump. If you don't wanna jump tonight, option, tap the ground, reach up tall. Tap and reach. We're halfway there, guys, keep pushing. Breathe through this. Again, using this first round to really get comfortable with these exercises, and then we'll pick up the pace. In three, two, one, rest. 
All right, guys, fourth and final exercise of this first set. We start with four plank taps, four plank jacks. Here we go. Find that perfect high plank position, keeping that core nice and tight. You tap right arm, left shoulder, left arm, right shoulder for four. And then you jack it out for four, three, two, and one. Trying to keep that core really stable. You don't want your hips wobbling from side to side. This is about stability here, less about speed. Stay nice and strong. You got it guys for three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, that's round one. Two more to go, just like that. You get an extra 10 seconds to rest here guys. So. Now that you have the exercises down, I want you to challenge yourself to pick it up a notch here. So really making the most of that 30 seconds. I do not want you to stop moving before the end of that. All right, Thursday, here we go. Exercise. We're getting started in three, two, one. You've got that squat to kick, squat and kick. Dropping those hips slow. Don't be afraid to squat low here. Hope it doesn't throw you guys off that tighter on different feet. We've got 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Exhale as you kick out. Nice work, guys. In three, two, one, you rest. We're taking it down to those bear crawls coming up next. So find that hands and knees position. Again, those knees are just hovering over the ground. Here we go in three, two, one, bear crawls forward and back. Even if you don't have a ton of space in your apartment, you can just go the length of your mat. Again, making sure that your back stays nice and flat, that belly button is pulling in. You're in a perfect tabletop position here. Thursday, we slow it down, we recover in three, two, and one, stand it up. All right, we got those frogger jumps coming up next. How are we feeling Thursday? Hope you're starting to sweat a little bit, breathe a little heavy in three, two, and one. Tap it down, jump it up. Again, always an option to take out that jump. Make sure those feet are wide. You're pulling those inner thighs up as you jump it up. You can add your little basketball toss there if you want to have a little more fun with it. Last 10 seconds. Good for three, two, and one. Take it down. High plank, guys. Four plank taps, four plank jacks. Here we go, guys. In three, two, and one. Again, take those feet a little bit wider than your shoulders to give you a nice stable base and then jump them in and out for four. Four, three, two, one. Jacks, four, three, two, one. Taps, four, three, two, one. Jacks, four, three, two, one. Keep it up. You got this Thursday. Five more seconds. And then we get a little break before our third and final round and rest. Nice work. Couple good deep breaths. We've got 30 seconds before we take off. All right, guys, one final round of those four exercises, then you don't see them again. Workout reset. Starting All right, guys, let's get ready. Squat to kick in three, two, and one, drop it down, using that core to lift that hip and nice, strong, stable kick out. Pretend that you're actually kicking a bag in front of you so that you get that rebound. Halfway. In order to make body weight exercises stronger, you need to create your own body's tension. So nice, stable kicks through. In three, two, and one, taking it down. 
One final round of bear crawls, everyone's favorite. I know they're Todd's favorite. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Take it forward and back. All right, picture that cocktail that you're gonna have after class sitting on your back. You're not letting that fall to the right or to the left or you don't get it after class. Keep going guys, all the way through. Don't drop down, eight seconds left. Nobody stops before the timer in three, two, one. Now you get to rest. Stand it up. All right, last round of frogger jumps. If you've been doing the modification, maybe challenge yourself this time to add that jump in. In three, two, one, here we go. Or if the jumps in bother you, take it out this time. There is no harm in that. Again, I want you guys to be safe. The physical therapist in me has a hard time not being able to watch each one of you do your exercises. But I'm learning to work virtually. So here we go. Finish this out for three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, let's finish this round strong together, guys. High plank, 30 seconds, four plank taps, four plank jacks. In three, two, and one. No matter where you are, try to hold this plank for the entire 30 seconds. If you need to slow it down, do so, but try not to drop down. We're almost there. You get a longer recovery on the other side. In three, two, one, stand it up. Awesome job, guys. Round one is done. So good, guys. Grab some water if you need to. Just checking on this. Some good songs on this playlist tonight. Thanks for all the recs, everyone. Okay, next round is gonna work like this. I set a timer for six minutes. I give you guys three exercises. Only number you have to remember is eight reps. We call this an AMRAP or as many reps as possible. So everyone's gonna go at their own pace. We're all at different levels. I'm gonna give you some modifications so you figure out what feels best for your body tonight. Your three exercises are gonna look like this. You're gonna start with a reverse lunge. You stay on one leg for eight reps and then you switch sides. The step up will be lunge back, knee drive. Reverse lunge to knee drive, okay? Eight reps on each side. Second exercise, you're gonna do a push-up hand release. So you find that high plank, you lower all the way down to your push-up, reach your arms overhead, and then push yourself all the way back up. You can drop down to your knees, lower all the way down, push out. This is a great way to work on your push-up through the entire range of motion. Your third exercise, two options. Option number one, keeping your low back down, you're gonna leg, double leg lower, and then lift right back up. You can also lower with straight legs, pull those knees in towards your chest, and then straighten them back up. So eight, eight, and eight. Goal is to get through about three to four rounds, but we're all on our own pace. You've got six minutes to get in as many reps as possible. This is a great way to turn body weight exercises into high intensity training to make the most of it. So let's find your mat. Make sure you have room to step back into that reverse lunge. All right, Thursday, let's get started with our second round. Six minute AMRAP, eight reps each exercise in three, two, and one. Starting with that reverse lunge, option for that knee drive. Stay on one side for eight reps in a row. Unless that's too much, then you can alternate. As soon as you finish that right side, you're gonna switch it out. Left leg steps back, drive it up. Left leg back, 
drive it up. So you're staying really stable in that right supporting leg or whichever leg you have down right now. You should feel that quad and that outside glute. As soon as you finish those eight reps on each side, you're taking into that hand release push up. So again, from that high plank, you're gonna lower all the way down, reach those arms over your head, push yourself all the way back up. Great modification onto the knees and then press back up. A lot of push up challenges happening during this quarantine. So if you're looking to improve your push up or your range, this is a great exercise to utilize. Once you finish those, you are on your back, taking it into the double leg lowering. What I want you to focus on as you go into that double leg lowering is pour, pulling your rib cage down towards your hips, making sure your low back stays flat on your mat. You only drop your legs as low as your back can stay pressing into the ground. Again, if it's too much, then you pull those knees in towards your chest and then straighten them back up. Only utilize the range of motion you have and the core strength that you have. It will continue to progress. When you finish that out, you're back to the top. You're just about two minutes into this set. So your goal is to get through three rounds. Here we go, guys, back to the top when you're there. Three rounds is the goal. I'm so happy with two. It's great if you do four, but make sure you're not sacrificing your form. Eight reverse lunges on each side, and then you take it down. We switched it out. Really using your core to stabilize you here. This uses a lot of balance as well, which is really important since we're not out in the world right now. We're staying home. So we really wanna focus on all of our body systems, making sure everything stays nice and alert during this time. Moving into those hand release push-ups, Going through that full range reaching those arms out overhead. Eight reps each exercise. When you finish out those push-ups, on to your back. Double leg lowering. Imagine my hand is just at the base of your low back and you have to keep pressure into my hand as you lower your legs down towards the ground and then pull right back up. As soon as your back would to come off my hand, that's where you stop your range. Eight reps there, and then you're back to the top. Guys, you've got just about two minutes left. That should be enough time to get through one more round. If you finish that third round, you're gonna chip away at a fourth round here. Focusing more on strength and stability in this second round, but keeping our heart rate high with this AMRAP. You got this Thursday, finish out this third round strong. We've got a fun little Tabata coming up next. <laughs> Todd says I shouldn't tell you that. He knows what's coming, but it's all good. We're in this together. All right, hand release push-ups, eight reps coming up next. If you're feeling pretty fatigued by this third round, do not hesitate to drop down to your knees. I make this harder by using your full range. So it's great to drop down to your knees if you need to. Once you finish out those push-ups, Onto your back, double leg lowering right here. We are under a minute. How many reps can you give me? Good quality reps. Do not sacrifice your form. Did you put this on shuffle? Yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> 
my cool down song is playing. But I hope you guys didn't put the Spotify playlist on shuffle like Todd did because it shouldn't be slow. All right, guys, last 20 seconds. Finish this out. Again, if you got all of those in, grab, you're going to go right back to the top. Last 10 seconds here. Make sure you're evened out. So if you started those lunges on the right side, make sure you finish them out on the left. Can't leave anybody uneven tonight. We finish out in three, two, and one. If you need to balance yourself out, otherwise grab a drink. Hi, Deborah. So glad you love the AMRAP. That's great. All right, guys, I don't know about you. We're sweating here. I hope you are too. Right? I can't believe he shuffled. Crazy. Okay. So our third round is going to look like this, guys. You just have two different exercises, but each time I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to it. This is a true Tabata, which means 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest. We do these two exercises for four rounds. It's an intense four minutes, but it's a really good way to work your body. So our first round is going to be just forward and backwards little jumps. I like to come to the front of my mat, pretend like I'm using a jump rope, and just go forward and back on the mat, okay? The second exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. So high plank position, draw those knees forward. If you need to modify, just slow it down or just tap. So you lots of options on the mountain climbers there. Each round, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a variation um, on the mountain climbers and on the jumps. So just pay attention. Let me make sure my timer is set up. Again, it's four minutes of work. If you're not already sweating, this is your chance. It's so fun getting to see all you guys from all over. I love that we can all be together tonight. So thank you for joining me. All right. Our Tabata set of the night is coming up. If you take my classes or do my workouts online, you know I always include a Tabata because it just is the best way to set this up. All right. Get ready for those forward and backward jumps. Again, kind of pretending like you have a jump rope. Thursday, we're getting started here in three, two, one. Little jumps forward and back. Using that big jump rope here. Make sure even with these, you're pulling your rib cage down, keeping your core nice and tight. You're not wobbling side to side. In three, two, one. Just 10 seconds to switch now. So it's going to be a little quicker. We have regular mountain climber so those knees driving straight forward in three two one here we go driving those knees forward throughout these mountain climbers make sure your shoulders are directly in line with your wrists make sure your hips are not driving up towards the ceiling they're staying right in line with your shoulders stay low keep pushing for three two one guys that's round one three to go your second round, we switch it up a little bit. You're gonna go side to side on your mat here. And begin, here we go, side to side. So now you're thinking a little more oblique. Stay nice and controlled. Try to keep your feet quiet. Unlike Todd, if you can hear him in the back. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys, for three, two, one. This time on your climbers, you're gonna drive your, drive your knee opposite, knee opposite elbow. So obliques for this second round. In three, two, one, here we go. So right knee drives left elbow, left knee drives right elbow. Just a little change up for the second round to target our obliques. Those are those abs on the sides of your body. In three, two, one. You're halfway through this Tabata, guys. Two more rounds. This, second, this third round, you're gonna go back to forward and back and regular climbers. Here we go, begin. Forward and back. 
Stay nice and relaxed through those shoulders. Make sure they're not up towards your ears. Everybody's working a lot on the computer right now. So we're keeping so much tension in our neck. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, straight climbers. Find that high plank position, get down there, get ready. You start in three, two, one, drive those knees straight forward. We only have one more round after this. Make sure you're utilizing the entire 20 seconds. We're gonna stand it up here in three, two, and one. Final round. This four minutes flies by, right? We go side to side on those jumps in three, two, one. Here we go. Side to side, last round, pick up the pace. Nobody stops. You've got 10 seconds, you can push yourself. Let's go Thursday, all the way through for three, two, and one. Final round of climbers. We go cross, oblique climbers. Stay strong and go. It's only 20 seconds of work. If you need to slow it down, nobody drops. You got this. Pick up the pace for your last few seconds here for three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Tabata is done. We have one final set. Three exercises. Who's outside? I'm so jealous. Hi, Kate. I'm really jealous that you're outside, but it was finally sunny in Chicago today, so that was great. Um, okay, one minute of three exercises, and we only go through two rounds. So two rounds, that's it, but we don't stop between. So your first exercise, I'm gonna demonstrate sideways so you can see my feet. You're gonna go into a glute bridge. So core stays tight, squeeze your glutes. You're gonna take your heels out just about two inches, walk them out, walk them back in, and then lower your hips down. So again, squeeze and lift. You walk your feet out, walk them back in, come down. You should feel a little bit more hamstring when you add that. If you need to modify, just squeeze the glutes, lift up, no arch in the back. So don't hyperextend through the back, just squeeze the glutes and lift. All right, your second exercise is gonna be a plank rotation. So up and down, up and down. If you've done too many planks tonight, go down to your forearms and then rotate up and come back down, rotate up, okay? So if your wrists are bothering you, drop down to your forearms. Otherwise, hop onto your back and give me bicycles. Your final exercise is gonna be a fun one. We're all gonna go high knees. When I say go, you drop down to your mat, come all the way back up, okay? And then you jump right back into high knees. One minute, each exercise, two rounds total, and then I stretch you guys out, and we call it a night. So, and then cocktail says, Todd, if you didn't drop them in your bear call. We can stay for virtual happy hour for anybody that wants. That's why we keep the bar car in the back of the frame. All right. Are we ready? Third, no, fourth and final set of tonight's workout is coming up. Guys, you're gonna take it onto your back. Get ready for those glute bridges to set up. Make sure your both feet are flat. Your heels start close to your glutes and then we, we press up and walk them out. All right, guys, glute bridges with the walkout in three, two, Exercise. and one. So squeeze those glutes, lift up, walk those heels out in front of you, walk them back in, lower down. If you want a little bit more intensity on those hamstrings, don't drop down. You just walk the feet out and in, out and in. Those hamstrings should start to burn out. And then when you need to, you can drop back down. If you need the modification and you're starting to feel it in your low back, make sure you're squeezing that tush really tight. 
lifting those hips up and not letting your back extend. We've got 20 seconds left here. Squeeze and lift, walk it out. Feeling those hamstrings. Last 10 seconds, guys. Good, digging those heels down into your mat. Finish it out for three, two, and one. Okay, we move right into that high plank rotation. So find that high plank, reach that right arm up as you twist, come back down, switch it out. Again, an option to come down onto the forearms as you do that oblique rotation. If you're done with planks for the night, take it onto your back, give me bicycles. So engaging that side body as you move into that rotation. These are a little bit slower. We pick up the intensity after this with our high knees. So take your time, breathe through this plank. Last 15 seconds. If you need to, just hold that plank. Last 10. Guys, in five seconds, you're gonna stand it up, move right into high knees. In three, two, one, you stand it up, start to drop. Drive those knees up. All right, when I say go, we drop it down and go. Back up, drive it up and go. My neighbors probably think we're crazy. <laughs> and go. Go. We're halfway. Woo. Almost lost my mat. Go. You got this, guys. We get a little recovery after this before our final round. Go. If you need a modification, when I say go, just drop. Go, tap, and back up. All right, all the way through. Last five. First three, two, one, done. All right, one minute recovery. Guys, we see those exercises one final time, okay? Three minutes of work. My hair is crazy. We're sweating. Hope you are too. Now you know the exercises. Let's capitalize on those three movements. You have worked so hard tonight. We've gotten our heart rate up. We're breathing heavy. We're sweating. Give me three more good minutes of work. Promise I'll give you a nice little cool down. Barry's calling. <laughs> he can wait. All right, guys, we have 20 seconds. And then we are getting into it. Three movements, one minute a piece. Let's take it onto our back. Get set up for that walking the loop bridge. Thursday, we take off. Work on reset. And, your oh, you guys got an extra five seconds of recovery because I messed my timer up. In three, two, one, squeeze and lift. Walk it out, walk it in, lower down, up. Again, regular glute bridges are always a great modification. Single leg bridges are there for you as well. Just give me some sort of glute bridge tonight. Here we go, Thursday, halfway through these bridges. Final round through. Breathe, catch your breath through these. Finding those glutes. You're gonna think of me in the morning. 15 seconds. Give me a few more good quality reps. We flip it over to our plank, high plank or forearm plank in three, two, one. Oblique rotations here. Making sure those wrists are right under our shoulders. Control as you rotate towards the wall. Take it back down. Keeping those hips low, not letting them hike up towards the ceiling. This is controlled. and rotate. I had a lot of Lizzo requests on this, 
on the form. So hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that tonight. 30 more seconds before my little football drill finisher. Again, drop it down to your elbows if you need to. Give me 15 more seconds. No more planks tonight after this. I know there's been a lot of planks tonight, but core and shoulder will feel good tomorrow. For three, two, one, let's stand it up. High knees right away. Here we go. Everybody should be driving those arms up and drop. Back up. And drop. And drop. Halfway, 30 seconds to go. Go, drop. This is it, guys. Go. Final 15. Nobody stops. Drop. Under 10. And go. Last one. Stand it up for three, two, one. Done. Awesome job, guys. Virtual high fives, virtual elbows. Guys, it's just about 6.15. If you need to go, I don't know, maybe you have big virtual happy hour plans. Otherwise, stay with me. Go to your final two songs. I think it's Crash Into Me and Dave Matthews. Slow it down with me. Um, if you guys have, <laughs> um, what's the last thing? Let me look at this. Okay. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me back on the email that I sent the Zoom link in. Um, right now I'm offering 15 minute free consultations for online training. I'm a physical therapist um, in a private practice for my own. So of course, right now, things are a little bit different. I am providing telehealth visits to patients, um, but since I have a little extra time, I can teach classes and do personal training. So message me, email me, or direct message me on Instagram um, for Eric the Weekday Warrior. But if you guys are staying, let's go. Todd's taking selfies. Let's, um, let's cool it down. That was tough. Let's slow our heart rate down. Let's stretch it out. Um, I'm going to focus on stretching some parts that we hit today, but also things that happen when you're forward hunched in your computer. So let's take it on to our hands and knees and slow this down. Hands right underneath your shoulders. You're going to inhale, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round out. Inhale. Exhale, head up, chest up. So a couple cat cows here, just to calm down your breath, calm down your heart rate. I forgot to even start my, uh, my watch, but hope you guys did. Back to neutral here. Okay, you're gonna reach that right arm up, rotate through, and then thread that arm through. Kim and Ross, I'm taking a similar stretch, so sorry guys. Take a deep breath in and then sink that right shoulder a little bit deeper, opening up the back side of that shoulder. A lot of planks today. I want you guys to make sure you stretch out that back side. And then when you're ready, reach that right arm back forward. We're gonna take that left arm up, rotate through that mid back, and then thread that arm through and sit back onto your heels. For a little bit more, you can reach that right arm forward. Just making sure that left back side of that left shoulder is getting stretched. Deep breath in and then drop it down to sink a little bit further. And then you're gonna reach both arms out in front of you. Tuck those toes and you're gonna lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Push your chest back towards your thighs into a down dog here. Maybe pedal out your feet right and left and right and left and then you're going to take that right leg high and step it through we're going to go into a low lunge show your back knee 
is gonna drop down to the mat. You're gonna reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Big stretch in that left hip flexor. Drop that right arm down, reach away, reaching towards that front knee. If you're not feeling that hip flexor, make sure you squeeze that left glute. And then take that back up to center. Straighten out that front leg, half split. Those hamstrings are probably feeling it from those bridges. Good, and then tuck that right knee back underneath you. We're gonna switch sides. Left foot is gonna come forward, right knee stays down, reach both arms up. Again, squeeze that right glute so that that whole front right side gets lengthened. Drop that left arm down, reach up and over towards that left knee and breathe. Then we're gonna take it back up, straighten out that front left leg half split on the opposite side. Good, straighten back out. Tuck that knee right back underneath you. Going into down dog one more time, lift those hips up, and then walk your hands back to the back of your mat. Grab onto your elbows here, let yourself hang. Get rid of any tension you have left in your body. We are all in a stressful situation right now, so just take a second to yourself, appreciate what you just led your body through. And then when you're ready, roll it up for four, three, two, and one. Big inhale up, reach over your head. Exhale, side body stretch over to the right. Back up to center, over to the left. Take it back up, cactus those arms down. Inhale back up, hands come to heart center. Guys, it means so much to me that you all joined me tonight. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, um, I would love to keep doing this while we're in quarantine. So message me, email me, find me on Instagram, whatever you guys need to do. Thank you guys so much. Love seeing all of you.